Hi guys, hi guys. Happy Monday, happy Memorial Day. Oh, y'all. Y'all, it, it's been uh, something else here in Tennessee. The last few days have been kind of brutal. Oh, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I got. I'm just slapping hot sauce on it. This is some leftover fettuccine I had in the freezer, some chicken fettuccine. And I had a few turkis, turkey kielbasas. I just browned in the skillet and I had a little fresh spinach that I threw down in it when I warmed it up. But anyway, y'all, y'all, I've been without power the last few days since Friday. Was it Friday? Since Saturday. It stormed here in the Memphis area, West Tennessee. It's still over 100,000 people without power. My power just came back on at 1148 today. Let me say my prayers on Lord, thank you for this food we're about to receive. Thank you for lights, Lord. Thank you for the nourishment of our body. For Christ's name, amen. Anyway, yeah, y'all. Uh um. Well, so it's been something else here. My daughter had moved out, luckily, and she came and got some of the food out of my refrigerator freezer yesterday and some out of my, I got a little small chest freezer. She got some out of that as well. Fortunately, what was left didn't. I had to throw some things, like I had some frozen fruit and some frozen vegetables I had to throw away, like some fries out of my the top of my freezer. So I cleaned out the refrigerator. I hadn't been sleeping good because I've been staying at my house. And so, honey, I, excuse the appearance, but I have gotten myself ready for bed. I'm going to eat. Now, it is early. It's 4 o'clock. I'm not going to lie to you. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back up or not. When I get myself done, I'm going to sit down somewhere and try to watch a little TV program. But I am going to get in some cool air and try to get me some rest. As you can see, I'm still a little congested, but I, have, I feel so much better. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a, a great Memorial Day. Y'all, This and the noodles chopped up for me, warming them up. No more long noodles, but y'all, here it is. Ooh, this is the one of the sausages. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's good. It's like peppers and onions and chicken breast, mushrooms. That's chicken breast. That was the original, but I had the sausage today and the spinach today. You know, I got my water to drink. But. I hadn't been drinking the Coke Zeros a lot. I did drink some on the cruise. But I, um. Honey, on the last couple of days, I done had me one or two. But I'm going to try to, you know, not, I'm going to drink them, but I'm not going to drink them like I, you know, I did so well before the cruise until, and on the cruise until. That's not something I'm going to just start back having to have one every day. That's the spinach in it. I'm making a mess. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I inadvertently deleted the cruise video. I had put it up. So, I'll put it back on the end of this video if anybody interested in seeing just a few snippets from the cruise. But I, um, mm, I really had a good time, y'all. And so, if you ever get a chance, that was my first time leaving from the port out of New Orleans, but it was really nice. I, um, it was a seven-day cruise, and it went to Montego Bay, Bay Jamaica. Uh, Cayman Islands, and Cozumel. And you have days at sea. And it was just really nice, you know. It was something on the ship to do all the time. I would do this cruise again, basically, because we really just didn't even get to do everything we wanted to do. Not even on the ship. I mean, we didn't get the trial of food we wanted to try, you know, and just, just too much food, to be honest with you. I'll tell anybody on the carnival, if you get a chance to go, and you get a chance to go to the steakhouse, now it's a $35 upcharge for that. 
But you know what? It is so worth the experience. I mean, it's just wonderful. So, if you're a foodie, and I love food, it's well worth going to see. Now, as far as the ports go, they had, oh, excuse me, they had a good, mmm, amount of entertainment on the crew. We played the bingo, and you'll see. My daughter played the McClue. We won. Well, she got the clue answer, and I put it down. They pulled my slip, and so I won the clue. Uh, we played bingo. We didn't win. Went to the casino. Um, won a little bit on the slots, and I won on the roulette table, like a hundred and something dollars. But, you know, that's the biggest game of chance. I played my birthday, my brother's birthday, and my daughter's birthday, and I hit on all three of those numbers. Mm. I, um, they had this great show, a Motown Review show. It was really good. Um, they did a Michael Jackson tribute. I got to see that. We played the trivia. Uh, we played the, like, the 80s music trivia. Divas, 80 Divas, or something like that. And um, we played um, Friend Trip, and my, my daughter loves Friends. So we did pretty good on both of them. Met some really nice people. Got a chance to, um, got a chance to um, play cards and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not like Montego Bay. I don't like Jamaica. I don't know if the people were just too aggressive. They were a lot of scam artisty type situations. And when we didn't do what our tour guide wanted us to do, the kind of their whole personality to me. Now, to me, this is just my personal opinion. Kind of went, kind of went downhill. And so, I was just very disappointed. But, my brother, who was on a different one, now he said the same thing. He said he didn't enjoy Jamaica. However, he did say that their tour guide was just phenomenal, that he was such in such a good mood. He was funny, you know. So, now I will say, we made a stop. And I ended up talking to two of the locals. They were the friendliest people I knew. I could tell you. They were just, I mean, they just were really nice. So I don't think it's, I think it was just our experience. Um, I forgot what the guy, oh, the guy on the stilts. His name was Earl. And he talked to me and um, one of the other young ladies talked to me. They were just very friendly. The the people, some of the people were just so friendly. And, and actually, one of my room stewards was from Jamaica, and he was extra nice. His name was Owen. You know, now the Cayman Islands, I loved it. You got to be rich to live over there. Honey, that was an enjoyable port. It was just so beautiful. We went to see the turtles. And they were talking about the... Turtles were so plentiful over there. Most of their eggs live because it's such a clean and a protected environment. But he said that, you know, it's not illegal to eat turtle meat. You know, that's one of the big things over there. And I'm like, if turtle meat is so plentiful. But then he said, he went on to say it was one of the most expensive meat. And I was like, well, if it's so plentiful, why is it so high? But he didn't have to worry about me no way because I don't want no turtle meat. I don't care how, if it was cheap, I wouldn't want it. But I had some, um, we went to the rum factory, and I did try some, um, some kind of, almost like a hot pocket to me. But it had jerk chicken in it, and it was really good. Mm-hmm. The rum cake was all right. They had this coffee rum cake sample and, and this um, regular kind. I got my mom a rum cake. I'm not no big cake person, so 
That, that, that little sample was enough for me. But my brother got him some because he loves sweets. He don't need to eat them. He's a diabetic, but he said he was going to eat them sparingly. He got a six-pack. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And, um, what else, y'all? In Mexico, now, to be honest with y'all, I love Mexico, but I can't tell y'all nothing about it, really. Because we just got off the boat and went off into the shopping area. And I wasn't feeling good that day. My knee was acting up. My arthritis was acting up. So I couldn't do a lot of walking. Luck of the ricochet. Like bikes came and rode us into the little shopping park, which was a nice walk from the pier. And so we shopped a little bit. You know, when I could walk, I let my daughter them go. And then I caught up with them. And then we went to um, Fat Tuesdays. And my daughter and I had daiquiris. And we just sat by the water. For an hour or so, and um, had daiquiris and ate some chips and salsa, and looked at the clear water. It was beautiful. Watched the ship. You know, we could see Margaritaville from the, where we were sitting. I enjoyed that. Next time I go, I hope I'm able to, you know, kind of go into Mexico City some. But I didn't do an excursion there, so, you know. But I really, I did like it. It was beautiful. But anyway. Yeah, y'all. So if you ever get a chance to go, I would highly recommend that cruise. A lot on Carnival has changed, but for the most part, it was still a good cruise. Mm-hmm. Anyway, y'all. Uh, this is good. I'm probably going to let you get a little holler. Mm-hmm. But anyway, like I said, I have never been that without power this long, y'all. It just really threw me for a loop. I didn't even know. I mean, and I know I'm not getting an alert on my phone that it was gonna be some tornado warnings here. But it's trees and stuff all down and yeah. um so uh it's big power line, trees on the power line. I'm just thankful no one was hurt. And although being without power was an inconvenience, you know, I would rather have that than than anything else. And like I said, my power was back on, and so I can't complain, you know. But anyway, back to work tomorrow. Little days off go by so fast. So, my brother called. Uh, you know, I was supposed to be going to the Mega Fest in Dallas. But I told him I wasn't going. It's at the end of June. Well, he called. I done been to the Mega Fest several times, so a couple of more times, you know, in the past year or so. It wasn't no big deal about that. And so he called and told me that this, um, they were having another conference in Houston on the night. Eric Thomas, I think it's just one day. And since I've never heard, you know, he's a motivational speaker, but he's also a minister. I haven't seen him live. So we're going to go to Houston and see him on the night. My brother talked me into it. Reason why I wasn't going to work call, I really didn't want to spend no money. I gave my daughter, I had just bought a new sofa last year in July when I got my bonus and a new cocktail table. And so I gave that to her for her new her house and my lamps out of my living room. So my living room is good and empty. Um so I need to buy something else to go in there. Yeah. But anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what about it up to? This is Memorial Day. You know, my father was in the service and he's passed. I grew up military in the Air Force. So this has been a reflective day. Normally. 
our family gets together and do something like a cookout or our friends or something. And but guess what? Every other person power being out. We didn't do anything. So anyway, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Y'all, if y'all want to go on a cruise, check out Tyler Raymond's channel. His last video, he did breakfast for dinner. And even though I can't go on the cruise, because, you know, we going on another cruise in January. My daughter had booked us for already on the MSC, Divina, not Davina, but Seaside. But they're doing a cruise, I think out of Florida somewhere. I'm not sure if it's Miami or not. But in November... For y'all, y'all health nuts. Tyler, he's real healthy. He's going to teach some classes and stuff, I believe, on the cruise. But you, it's a fitness thing they're doing, but I don't think you, you don't have to go to the classes. But he's a great guy, fun. I think that's going to be a fun cruise. I hate I'm not going to be able to go on that one. But it's too close to my other cruise. Anyway. Well, like I said, if you're interested in doing a cruise, I'm not sure they're going with the Carnival. I think they're going with another, if I'm not mistaken. Where's that other one with, the, with a C name? They're going on that one. Well, y'all, I'm full. I guess so, huh? I ate the whole bowl. <laughs> anyway. Uh-huh. Y'all, you know, you know I love you and I appreciate you. I thank you for always watching, supporting, and coming and joining me for a meal. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends and family. Um, just have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day. Know that I love you. God most definitely loves you. Always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And remember to share your smile. If you got to go back to work tomorrow, go in there with a pep in your step like you own the world. And I am going to, like I say, add some of the cruise footage at the end of this video. And I will talk to y'all later. And I will have one tomorrow. I'm going to try to do one on my lunch break so I can announce the winner of the little, little um, things that I had from the uh, cruise. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow at lunch. Bye. Love you. Have a good night. Oh, this water is just beautiful. Look at it. Just beautiful out here. Oh, my goodness. There's the carnival ship that we just got off of. We're in Cozy now. Look how clear that water is, y'all. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look how clear this Okay. Guys, got to be the famous guys burger here on the cruise. Yeah, everybody got guys burgers. We were going to bingo. I didn't, I'm not showing your face, honey. Don't even worry. See the bingo there, but we were going to barbecue. But see, these other people I'm with, I won't show their face. They wanted to play bingo, so we missed these guys' barbecue. Yes, we did. Who are you talking to? This is my video, okay? I'm talking to my family on YouTube. Thank you. They're real haters. As you see, I got me another hater with me, including my daughter. They don't want me to talk to you all. My family on the YouTube, my YouTube family. 
Well, how y'all doing? See, I have supporters in the background that don't even know me. You see there? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's my friend's burgers right there. She's doing it. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later. I just want to share the guy's burgers with you. I'll talk to you later on when I have dinner tonight. Bye. Hello all, I forgot to uh, record my meal, but this is my daughter's dessert, the beautiful cheesecake in the steakhouse on the carnival. Oh, it's just delicious. <laughs> Thank you. 